Pozdrav svima i dobro mi došli u novi video na kanalu i u današnjem videu nastavljamo sa serijalom Tell Me Why. Nastavljamo tamo gdje smo stali u prethodnoj epizodi u kojoj smo saznali da Tyler u stvari nije ubio majku nego je to bila Alison. A za vas koje zanima to sve lepo detaljno imate dole link u opisu videa da vidite cijelu playlistu pa pustite i gledajte. A mi sad nastavljamo s ovom prečicom a inače smo stigli do chaptera 2 tako da počnemo. Once upon a time in a deep and ancient forest. There lived a pair of crafty goblins. The crafty goblins did everything together. Until one day, when darkness overwhelmed the big wooden house in which they lived. Blamed for the darkness, <coughs> the other goblins were forced to leave the forest, while his sister had to stay behind. How did the glass put me? Ten years later, they were finally reunited, and together, they decided to confront the darkness in the big wooden house. Pa da, ovo je cijel ono kao review. Šta se desilo? Previously in Tell Me Why. Though they sought the help of their friends in the forest, they found that no one wanted to delve into the long gone past. This is how the goblins found themselves alone in the woods, trying to discover why darkness had submerged the big wooden house. Tomorrow we should play Compass and North Star in the woods. Be sure to wear your hat then. <laughs> you be sure to wear your hat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, who wants ice cream? Me. Eat up. Thank you, pistachio. Pistachio ice cream. Without a word. She went out and buried the tiara in the ground beneath the sapling. And as the final scoop of dirt fell, the tiara felt truly gone. And with it, the final link to her old self. She could only go forward and find a new place for herself in this world. Where she was no longer truly a princess in a tiara and a beautiful gown, but a wan woman. Alone in a deep and ancient wood. And that was how the princess lost her most precious treasure. And her title. I don't like that story. There were no goblins. And it was <laughs> depressing. We won't read it again. I love you, Mom. Not me. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> love you, Mom. I love you, too. Sleep well and dream, my doves. A zato smo mi našli na početku one golopčiće, ove figurice. Eee, da vidimo sad dalje. Ali? Ali? Aha, to je vjerojatno ono što se desilo pred kraj. Cinematica prethodne epizode. What a waste. Ali jeste ono što se da sada u prethodnoj epizodi na kraju.
Family Secrets, Chapter 2 Barata Colt is in a matter. You shall even now. Hey, you doing all right? I thought coming here would be closing a chapter of our lives, you know? And instead, we spun off a whole miserable prequel trilogy. Okay. No. We're not letting ourselves do this again. Come on. Up. My numbing labor's a great way to forget your troubles. Uh, can't we just have coffee instead? No. On your feet, soldier. Let's take a break from packing and sort out the furniture. Mm. If we get enough done, I'll drive you into town and buy you a gallon of ice cream. Mint chocolate chip, two gallons. Let's do this. Coffee, pregori. Goblin faces keep. Dollar sign is donate or sell, and trash can as well. Trash. By the way, I cleared out most of the stuff from the bathroom this morning. What to do with this? Keep trash. Such such. Just give me a couch. Sell. Um. My bad. Ah, this has been sitting in a damp house for ten years. 
No one wants to eat off it. What's this doing down here? Is that gum? Ugh. I guess that was probably me. I completely forgot we had a pet vol for a few days. Poor volcano. She was in rough shape when we found her. Good thing Marianne actually knew what she was doing in injured wildlife. salad first. Thank you, Tessa. You're a lifesaver. No, oh, don't worry about it. They're just leftovers from the restaurant. What about Volcano? She needs to eat her lunch, too. Oh, you're quite right, Mom. She can have my corn. <laughs> Here you go, little one. You're hungry, too. <laughs> Looks like Tessa didn't have that broom up her ass back then. I guess it's finally time to take these pictures down. Yeah, still deciding what to do with them. Mm. I mean, most of them are pretty happy memories. I guess. You look cute here. That's not me. I mean, it is, but... But not really. I get it. It's just weird seeing myself like that again. Damn. Didn't think a picture could throw me like this anymore. Has therapy helped at all? Oh, yeah, definitely. My therapist really heard me when I said I was a guy, and she helped me get ready for the reactions I'd get, you know? It's dealing with other people that's been way harder than figuring myself out. At the end of the day, being able to look in the mirror and see Tyler, that's made the biggest difference, which is why I'm scheduling my top surgery as soon as we sell this house. No more putting a binder on every morning. God, that sounds fucking amazing. Yeah, totally. Just so you know, I'll be there to help out when you do. Whatever you need. <laughs> Thanks. No, no, I didn't What's your verdict, Ronan? You know what? I'll keep a few. To remind us how far we've come. Top. Oh man. I love this one. <laughs> Why do I look so pissed? I remember loving this. Maybe because Marianne was sticking a camera in your face? Come on, Like Allison. So hold up your fish. It's not my fish anymore. Allison stole it. My sister, the fish thief. <laughs> you were just Ugh, gross stain is gross. Uh, what happened? Some unfortunate spillage that brought about the end of indoor tea parties. I hid the stain with my toys. Forgetting that they would eventually be picked up. Brilliant move, Ronan. Aha. Uh -huh. You were no better. I was scared. I do some push. I was so afraid that Marianne would ground me for the rest of my life. But she didn't, right? No. I remember her saying that. That sufficiently adventurous play ensures that accidents will happen. Steady now. Take your time. He's not going to jump up and do the cha-cha. What about me? I want to clean the... It's not even your fish. You didn't catch 
anything. Ugh. Only because you wouldn't stop talking to me here at all the fish away. Allison, when we're done with this half, you can take over and do the other one. That sound fair? Yes. Mm -mm. I was kind of being brat. That's a nice face. I wonder if my horse figurine is still in there. You're welcome to stick your hand in there to check. Allison, I asked you to clean up the coffee table three times already. <sighs> Oops, I forgot. All right, I'll clean it up. Thanks. While you do that, I'll check out the furniture. I'm guessing you want to keep the coffee table? If there's anything you want, speak now. I'm not really planning on bringing furniture to Denali. And if I need a base in Juno, you'll have all the furniture I need. How very non-committal of you. All right, I'll keep it. I really like that armchair. Like this mom. Uh, on second thought, never mind. Keep trash. Trash. Another one for the landfill. And finally. I hate to say it, but the couches get a one way ticket to the dump. No protest here. I think I have permanent knee damage from a decade of bumping into the corner of those damn things. Well, then that's it for the living room. You are relieved from your duties. Hmm. Crummy table and wobbly chairs. But we ate way too much expired food on this table. Oh, oh, God. that's what's that smell? <laughs> oh, what's that smell? It smells like delicious garbage. Ooh, yes. Delicious indeed. <laughs> or could it be Stinky Pants Sam? <laughs> oh, Stinky Pants Sam! <laughs> Come on now. Sam got that smell from the front of the corridor. <laughs> Smells like delicious garbage. Oh, yes, delicious indeed. <laughs> or could it be Stinky Pants Sam? <laughs> oh, Stinky Pants Sam! <laughs> Come on now. Sam got that smell getting a skunk out of our barn. Be nice. <gasps> a skunk? What did you do to her? Is she okay? <laughs> sure is. She just went hunting for food and couldn't get back out. All she needed was a little nudge to get her on her way. Sam Kansky, hero of skunk kind. I remember being super impressed by him, and it made me want- You hungry? We have a whole lot of nothing. Aw, uh, I was hoping maybe you could make me one of those pickle and ketchup sandwiches. Sorry, sir. We are all out of pickles today. Could I interest you in a ketchup-only sandwich? Looks like there's still a bottle back here. Oh, ew. Says the guy who used to eat peanut butter with ranch. Mm, so good. Hey, Allison, come take a break with me. Good day,
Starting the fire again? Yeah, I'm gonna boil some water. You want something to drink? Would you rather have instant coffee or instant coffee? Hmm, nah, sorry. I'm more of a tea person. Get it? Tea? As in... Mm-hmm. How long have you been waiting to make that joke? Longer than I'm willing to admit. <laughs> <sighs> I am so glad Eddie came through on the caffeine. Shh, did you hear that? <gasps> the Ice King is sending us a warning. Punishment, said the Ice King. You shall be banished from the forest. And if you dare come back before the new moon, you shall feel my anger in your gut. Hear it in the wind. Whoosh! <laughs> huh. Do you think the Ice King would really react that way? He may be intimidating, but he's always never mean. Oh, yeah, you're right. Maybe he tells the goblins to help the people they hurt instead? Great. Why don't we think about it at dinner? I'll put everything away for safekeeping while you go wash your hands. Can you put them in the binder so they don't get stained? Of course, love. <sighs> I still think my dark and twisty version was better. We put so many hours into that book. Yeah. Our binder was full of extra drawings and incomplete stories. Think they're all still in the kitchen drawer? We should go take a look. Come check this out. Allison's first dress. <clears throat> right. Because I didn't contribute at all. Come on. I know you did. I can't believe she kept all these. <laughs> You'd think putting them on the fridge for a couple of weeks would have been enough. You know how we thought of ourselves as the goblins? Did you ever get the sense that maybe Marianne was the princess in the stories? Uh, yeah. She called her bedroom the princess's sanctum, and she was all alone in the woods, in this house, until we showed up. She was. Alone, but with a few friends who helped her along the way. What are you doing? Research. So, if Marianne was the princess, then who were all the rest? And here we go. Oh, come on. Humor me. Uh -huh. You go here. Mm, nah. da. Ali, oh. This one. The bear was the most helpful one. He was always around. Stalking her? What? No. I mean... He was kind of always there, lurking. Mm, Pelican. She was the most generous one. <laughs> yeah, but there was always a catch. <sighs> Poor Moose. Really didn't do him justice. Hmm. Justice? Kind of ironic, huh? Considering he was the lawful good one. Too bad the law isn't really just. You done? All right, I think I'm done. You sure? No, no. How do you like them apples? I mean, yeah, sure, maybe. What about these guys? I don't see them being real life people, or this one. Yep, totally Marianne. Why a princess though? Why not a queen? She hated authority. Yeah, she'd have been a terrible ruler. 
The specific human attributes you have assigned to these forest animals are truly thought-provoking. Indubitably. You better hurry, or the Mad Hunter will catch us! We need to hide. This way! <gasps> what's... what's going on? I... I don't know. I, is he here? Is he really here? Uh, I'm scared. Go away! Yeah! Go back to the forest! I forgot about that. We'd been pretending he was there. And then, suddenly he was. That was the only time that happened, right? Allison? Wait. It felt way too real. It was... Us. Pushing our imagination way too far. Great. Sam Kansky, Grandmaster of Bad Timing. We're not done with this conversation. Morning, Sam. Well, hi, goblins. I ran into Chief Brown, who said you were starting to clean up on the house this morning, so, uh... I kind of figured you might need some supplies. That's... Thank you. That was very thoughtful. So listen, I, uh... I wanted to apologize for scaring you yesterday. You didn't. Your shotgun did. <laughs> yeah, uh... Well, I, uh, anyway, I also came by to say I fired up the Google and I, uh, I did some reading. I didn't know the difference between all those words. I mean, I, you know, never been much of a reader. Hmm? But I think I get why what I said was wrong. And I'm real sorry. Oh, and before I forget, for the lady of the house. It was your mom's favorite recipe. Still make it darn near every week. Think of her every time. Uh, thanks. But we don't have a stove. Still no electricity. Oh, yeah. The fuse box is busted. <laughs> Just another thing I've been meaning to put back together around here. Where is it? I can take care of it. Oh, I don't doubt you can. But, uh, I've been kicking this thing back to life for the last 20-some years. I'll give you a hand. All right. Box is in the barn. Follow me. We'll be right behind you. That apology was something. Come on, we need lights. So be nice to the helpful man. So, um, how's school? I graduated already. Outdoor studies. Oh, outdoor studies, huh? Well, it's a good thing I came along when I did. You know, I built this here barn for your mama. You really helped her out, huh? Now, you know, just a few chores here and there. I was, I was glad to help your mother. She... No. I can never bring myself to leave her high and dry. Anyways, let me find that darn key. Wait. Wait, Sam. You have more of our keys? Yeah. The one for the barn's called a railroad key. See, it's got this special tip that you can... Fascinating. I'll take that off your hands now. Well, I, uh... 
figured I might still need to do some maintenance, so, uh... Nope. We're good. Thank you. Uh, fair no, warning. The door's a down. bit temperamental. Haven't you been taking care of this place? You didn't oil the doors? What? You think I just hang out here all day or something? Here, son. Give me a try. Good. Okay, when you twist it as far as you can to the left, give it a nice little... No shit. Well, at least the door is open now. <laughs> yeah, uh, well, it's easy enough to fix. Now. I... All right, fuses go into plugs. Should be easy enough. Jedan, dva, tri, četiri, pet, šest. Čeka, čeka, čeka. Hey, let's take a look. Look at what? The whole jam needs to be replaced. Nah, need to send that part down. Could refinish the whole thing, but... Electrical box. I got it on. I got it on. But in case you want to check. For... For the whole... House. Dobro. Sad da vidimo šta kaže ovdje. Water heater, kitchen, outlet, lights. Pass me that handle. Yeah, sure. Thank you. Shit! What happened? You okay? Yeah, just a... Just a bum knee. I wrecked it playing ball. Ball? Football? In college? High school. Best damn fullback around. Kitchen. Yeah, the lights. Water like heater. Damn. That's rough. Approach him, Aqua. He said, Oh, damn it, Travis stood Vadis. Problem must be the latch. No shit. It's covered in rust. Nothing a little salt and lime can fix. Salt and lime? It's a door latch, not a bottle of cheap tequila. Sure could go for a margarita right about now. A margarita? Really? Hey, sometimes old Sam likes to feel fancy. Let's try this one. Yeah. Wait, that's not right. You sure you don't need a hand? Hey, I'm moving at my own pace. I need to know this stuff. All right. Women, huh? Don't do that, Sam. Uh, did you read the note next to the box? See any white cable? It's paired with a 15 amp. Hey, what did I say? She's doing this on her own, man. Look, I'm all for strong, independent ladies, but uh, we don't want anyone hurting themselves, right? Thanks, but I'm no lady. I'm missing a smash. It's a lot. Let's keep them safe. He's telling me, poor boy. Guys, I don't know. Actually, all the. Juti. Who is Juti? Ovdje ide žuti. Ovdje ide crveni. Ovdje ide žuti. Čekaj. To je žuti. I šta je beli? Možda ovo je bajs. Ne. E, plavi, to je to. Mislim sam našao sad će. Hmm? Seems good. To je to. 
Samo trebalo po boju, vrate, ja računam ovdje kao nenormalno, u stvari samo boju. Spakuješ i to je to. Jebem ti osigurače. Everything okay? You uh you two look like you got this all in hand, so um Bye. Oh then I'm Sam. What was that about? What are we gonna do with this wreck? Take it apart and sell the scrap? Mm, Be my guest. But it sure looks like a pile of junk to me. Where you see junk, I see dollars. Found Marianne's stash. Those have definitely gone bad. As far as I'm concerned, they always were. Does canned food really expire? I mean, it's airtight, right? Uh, not gonna be the one to test that out. Blueberry, blueberry, salmonberry, huh? Birch and fireweed? <laughs> Bet it tastes like restricted freedom and 9 p.m. lights out. Hey there, little buddy. Are you cooing at a spider? It had better be a tiny one. Don't listen to the mean lady. You're an eight-legged beauty. Tread a rep. What's that? Wolf pee. Ew, what? Do not spill it on your shoes. Hmm. I do. Why is there wolf pee in our barn? Wait, if it's a weird sex thing, I don't want to know. <laughs> you wish it scares off predators and rats. Ugh, lovely. Oh man, I'm gonna put together the sweetest toolbox ever. Huh, look at this. I think this is where she made all her toys. She was so crafty. And she could draw and write and take pictures. She could have been an artist instead of just locking herself up out here. Toilet paper tubes, rope, cardboard. I wonder what she planned to make with that. Maybe a car? Ooh, or a tank. I wonder why Sam got so upset. Oh, he probably forgot he was all out of bourbon. <sighs> well, something about it really got to him. I don't think any of us are exactly happy to see the gun. Remind me to take it down there. Allison, do you know who this is? <laughs> What did you find? Do you know who that is? Uh, yeah. That's Carol, Eddie's mom. I've seen other pictures of her, but never this one. Man, look at Brown. And Marianne. She looks really happy. Can I? Careful, the glass is Ow! broken. Are you okay? It stings. Let's go see mom. But she'll get mad. We weren't even supposed to be here. Hmm, provodila se neka sećanja. Šta mi to imamo sad ovde? Come on, it's gonna get infected. She said not to disturb her and Eddie. Where are you going? Things were different when she was around. We were family, Eddie. How could you do this to me? Shh. Look. I had to make that call. What were they talking about? I can't figure out what's going on. I don't know, but... 
I remember that whatever Eddie had to do, whatever that call was about, it was tearing him up. Tearing him up? He was being a total cop, and Marianne got pissed and threw him out. Here, I'm going to show you what I remember. There, by the house. I do it anymore. I had to make that call. I was just following the law. Oh, yeah? And this little visit right here? What would the law say about this, huh? Look, I didn't have to come out here, but I did. You're a goddamn hypocrite. Get out of here! Marianne. <sighs> I said get out! Out! Oh. What? She didn't throw the picture at him. You sure about that? He was being a complete dick. How can you be sure? We were eavesdropping. We could barely see a thing. What do you think happened then? Either anymore. Look. I had to make that call. I was following procedure. What I'm legally required to do. Then why are you here? Pretty sure this isn't procedure. I wanted you to hear it from me. Please leave. Mary Ann. I'm sorry. Please just go. How do we keep remembering the same thing so differently? It was a long time ago, and, well, memory is a tricky thing. Wait. When did that happen? I'm not sure. I think it was the exact same day she attacked you. That's what I thought. But Uncle Eddie said he hadn't seen Marianne for weeks. Yeah, that was bullshit. And what was all that about following the law? What was he doing here exactly? He must have had his reasons for not telling us. Look. I know he took care of you, but that doesn't make him incapable of lying. I can't see him being that cold with Marianne, even if he was being a cop. I mean, I can. Who knows? I guess memory's a tricky thing, huh? Just Tyler memory? Ili Allison memory? Get out! I do the Allison. Get out! I know you were just doing your job, but I need you to go before you get in trouble. Please, just get out of here. All right. Say Brown really felt bad about whatever he came out to tell her. It was still the day she attacked us. He still lied. Now what? We go and get a straight answer from him. Right now? Yes. I'll go get my car keys. But what will these mountains of trash do without us? Fuck the trash. Yes, I did not want to I can't believe Brown lied. I mean, I may not be the guy's biggest fan, but he's always talking about the truth and the law and shit. Do you have to be so happy about it? What? I know you've been waiting for something like this. Something that proves Eddie's an asshole. But gloating about it is really not cool. Oh, it's Tina. I gotta take this. Yeah, j just a sec. I'm parking the car. I'll just go stretch my legs then. No, just give me a sec. That's other one. Okay, Tina. What's going on? Hi, hon. I've got someone who is super interested in seeing the house. Oh, that's amazing. Uh, when? They're 
were just in the area for a couple of days, so they'd like to come by day after tomorrow. Oh, uh, uh, I'm not sure it'll be ready. Han, this guy is very motivated, but I know he's looking at other properties. It's not like you've had people breaking down the door. I appreciate that, but we've kind of got a lot going on over here. <sighs> Did I mention it would be an all-cash offer? Ну что, я сюда хожу, блядь. It's it's not the right time. A cash offer, Allison. I'm sorry, but it'll be a total mess. I don't want to waste anyone's time. Okay. Well, you tell me when you're ready. Huh. Well, I think I just made Tina's shit list. The artist really nailed this one. Dorian Key. Kind of rings a bell. Just a little. Looks like you found a nice spot. We've been here before. So, Tina? Tina West, our realtor. Oh, that Tina. What'd she need? She had someone who wanted to see the house, but he could only come by day after tomorrow. And you told her no? Yeah. We need more time than that you know, to get things cleaned up and, you know. Thanks. But what if it's the only call we get? And I guess we just scrolled and lose our minds in that fucking house. <laughs> Sounds like a plan. <sighs> so, before Tina called, we were talking? Yeah. I'm not happy your foster father fucked up. Oh, yeah? Because you sure sounded like he it. He hid information about Marianne. I know! You just don't have to rub it in! I get it. You're always gonna side with him over me. Come on, that's not fair. Then why do you keep doing it? This town, these people, they're just memories to you. But it's my home, Tyler. My friends, my family. And as much as I want answers, I'd rather not lay waste to my entire life to get them. I didn't come here to ruin your life, Allison. I just want some answers. I know. That's why we're doing all this, right? I like this you had warned me about this. I'm all just posting a lot too. Our hometown looks pretty picturesque from here, doesn't it? You're way more attached to this place than you let on. Come on, Tyler, help me out here. Why do you shut people out like this? You're literally talking inside my head. Not sure how I could shut you out even if I tried. You know what I mean, Ty. You're the star, and I'm the compass. Okay, and don't cheat. I know you were sending me fake hints last time. I did not. Yes, you did. Okay, okay, I won't do it again. <laughs> you were always accusing me of cheating. Because you totally did. It was a cool game. Guessing where you were just by feeling what you felt? No one else could play it with us. That was the beauty of it. For real? You never wanted any other friends? No, not really. I mean, we had each other. That was enough for me. So? Not too disappointed I turned down our chance to be billionaires? Nah, all that money would have made me soft. And I've spent way too many years polishing my edgy side. Mm, 
you were right to call me out earlier. I was being a jerk about Eddie. I'm all for enjoying the wins as they come, but maybe not at the expense of my father figure. I'll try my best. Dobro. Išla sad. Idemo nazad ka autu i... Vozimo se... Mnogo je glupo to što nemam neko trčanje, malo da požurim. Hey, look what I found. Šta si našao sad? Aha! I knew it was still here. I knew we'd been here before. We claimed it as part of the Ronin Kingdom. And it still is. All it needs is a little update. What are you doing? What I wanted to do back then, but I didn't have the guts. There, looking better already. You're right. Way better. Da vidimo sad šta kaže dalje. So, what's the plan? We go inside and calmly ask Eddie why he was there that day. All right. <laughs> Let's try to let him get his side of the story out. Okay. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. I understand, Mr. Barrow. I'll be sure to let him know. Yes, I have it all written down. Have a good day, Mr. Barrow. More oh, Missy. How do you get stuck working reception? Rose called in sick this morning. I'm covering for her while I try to get my paperwork done. What are you doing here? Just checking in with Uncle Eddie. I'm guessing from the identical features that this is Tyler. Tyler, Denise, Denise, Tyler. Wilson, could you tell Officer Vincenzi that I'll be- Oh, good morning, Allison. Hi, Uncle. I'm gonna take Dr. Torres' statement. No need for Vincenzi to come back to the station. He doesn't seem like he's in the best of moods. Yeah, I don't know what's going on, but he's been a little off all day. Good luck. Great. He has an excuse to brush us off. I'm sure he'll make... Hey. He speaks. How's Delos treating you so far? Um... It's been good to see Allison. She's been talking nonstop about you lately. I know she's happy to have you here. Hey, been meaning to say... Allison showed us that article you wrote for the Juno Daily last year. You were spot on. The state needs to be giving way more money to youth centers. Fireweed was lucky to have you. I love working with those kids. It was tough work. I should go. I know I loved working with those kids. Thanks. I spent a lot of time fighting for more outdoor activities. Made some enemies in the administration over that one. But the first time those kids summoned Mount Roberts, man, they were so proud. It felt great. I know exactly what you mean. I um, volunteer sometimes with the JCE. You know, give lectures about police work, lead group talks when I can. Style was the JCE. JCE? You know. Juno Coalition for Equality? Oh. Oh! Do people around here know? No. So, 
Keep it under your hat. You know how it is out here. Yeah, for sure. Anyways, sorry for the rant. Oh, hello, kids. Hello, middle-aged adult. Everything all right? Your uncle said you two were going to be knee-deep in trash for a few days. A few days? That's optimistic. It feels like every time we clear out a drawer, two more just appear out of thin air. Huh. Yes. You got my sympathies. When we emptied Linda's parents' house, oof. I thought we'd have to rent a backhoe. How is Linda? I feel like I haven't seen her in months. Good. Yeah, she started working over at the high school as the librarian. Pay's not great, but she gets to see the kids every day, so... I bet Brendan's thrilled. Oh, yeah. Happy as any teenager who's got to spend extra time with his mom. Well, I'll let you work. Eh, no worries. You're not a bother. Dr. Torres, you said your daughter was with you during the incident? Yes, she was. I'll need her information too then. Can you give me her name and date of birth? Okay. Isabella Henderson, July 16th, 2009. Henderson? Different last name? Yes, her father's. My ex-husband. Does she live with you most of the time? No, her father has primary custody. Because of my hours. Morning, Chief Brown. Good morning, Tyler. Hey, could we talk to you in private? It's a little urgent. Can you excuse me for a second, Dr. Torres? What's going on, you two? We had a few more questions about our mother. Look, now's not the best time. Well, maybe we can come back later then? Excuse me. Come on. Guys, I'm understaffed today. I've got a receptionist out sick, an officer dealing with personal issues. I need to finish taking this woman's statement and I don't have time to chat right now. We were just hoping for some answers. Well, I don't know what more you think I'm going to say. I already told you everything. I need to get back to this complaint. Sorry, guys. Oh. I hate when he's stubborn like that. So what now? Of course, Miss Torres. Where were we? Well, he's obviously not going to give us the truth. So I say we go get it ourselves. Where do you think they'd stash her file? I don't know. The archive room? Maybe Eddie's office? Wait, you're not seriously thinking of breaking and entering a police archive. My well, they they go go hey, what are you two up to over there? Everything all right? Uh, yeah, everything's fine. We're just, uh, I was just telling Tyler where the upstairs bathroom is. Tyler, help me out here. Oh, uh, yeah. Toilet emergency, lake water, you know, mother nature's juice cleanse. And there's a bathroom just past the break room. Behind you. First door on your right. Forget it, Tyler. There's no way we're getting upstairs out in the open like this. It's too suspicious. Dobra. Stał. To są one slicky. Co smo videli? U prethodne epizode. Should we just look around? Yeah. Okay. Act normal. Dr. Tor. There's no access to the first floor this way. Yes. You need to find another way up. Permission to. Can you give me her name and date of birth? Okay. Isabella Henderson, July 16th, 2009. Yeah, bravo. All right. <coughs> Let's see. First floor, ground floor. Znači, možemo napolje, main entrance, i onda gore. Znači, ovdje. You head now? Da, možda. Yeah, I need a smoke. You should think about quitting. Only gets harder the longer you do it. Yeah, I know. While you're at it, get your sister to stop too. Should be on the other side of the building. There. Fire exit. It opens up to 
a staircase on the side of the building, but it'll definitely be locked from the inside. If one of us were to create a diversion, the other could slip upstairs and open the door. And since you're the troublemaker, I nominate you as the one to make a scene. Wait, really? You got a better idea? Mm. Aren't cops, like, trained to notice suspicious behavior? I'm not exactly an amazing actor. Figure out something simple and commit. I have faith in you. Znači ovo je propalo. Ovo da ne može. Fire exit's right behind me. E, znači mora ja napravim neki cirkus unutra. Ajde, sad ćemo da vidimo. Restroom. That pile of paperwork. What about it? I could tip it over. Kind of messy, but if you sure. Mm. I think that this will not be enough. Let's see what we can find more here. Ovdje ništa. Ali ima ovdje neki protipožarni alarm. Someone's climbing the fence. Really? I can pretend they're outside, trying to break in. Uh, all right. Dobro, imamo znači i tu opciju. What about those missing people posters? I can pretend I've seen someone. Yeah, sure. Might work. Znači imamo tri opcije za sad. Fire drill. When the fire start, first step away from the station immediately leaving all personal. Ok. Dobro. Znači... Ja sad treba nađem fire alarm. Šta je ovo? Guess I probably can't trip the circuit breaker, but I could turn the lights off. Just go. Improvise. Dobro. Ništa. A gdje je uopšte taj... Evo ga, far alarm. Ovdje 
нещо. Ай, проба чо. Ам, Грегс, ай... I think someone's trying to climb over the station fence. Hmm. Must be the Herald kid again. Huh? Yeah, Jackson Herald's kid. He climbs over the fence because he doesn't, and I quote, feel like going round the block. Ah, right. Tyler. I approach you. No, I don't. I don't. Provočio ovde s ovim fasciklom. Jesus, Tyler, what happened? Sorry, I wasn't looking where I was going. Just leave that there. Stop. Turn right when you exit the station and follow the side of the building. The staircase will be right there. Dobro, to sam već našao, sad samo treba da... I really wants everyone to know what a fine, outstanding citizen he is, doesn't he? He's a genuinely good person. And saying that here makes me feel even worse. If Eddie catches us in here, there's no turning back now. Huh? Hey, you. Dobro. Though we are destined to burn, we emerge as stardust. Is that? Oh no. <laughs> oh yes. Burn it. Burn it with fire. Dobro. Though we znači, are destined to burn, ništa. we emerge as stardust. Is that? Oh no. <laughs> oh yes. Burn it. Burn it with fire. Looks like this is where Brown keeps all his personal mail. You applied to a summer drama program back in 2009? I did, but they rejected me. Michael and I were supposed to go together. He went, but I was stuck here for the summer with no one but Justin Beaver. Looks like he's working with the Office of Child Services on the case. None of our business. Dobro. I ovo treće je. Why is Brown on a first name basis with the director of Fireweed? Oh. What'd you find? It's an invoice. Eddie Brown, you'll find and close the final invoice for resident Tyler Ronan. The Fireweed Administration would like to thank you for all of the support you've given us over the years. I knew Eddie pulled some strings to send you there, but <laughs> that's a lot of money. More back doors and secret moves. Maybe he didn't want to make you uncomfortable. Well, now I feel like I'm in his debt. Huh. The Dallas Police Force is getting a new officer. Finally. This guy has a record. And not a short one. Why is he even in the running? Shh. Eddie has a really hard time hiring people out here. I don't think he has a choice. There's always a choice. You finding it? 
doing anything? No. Style. Seriously? You're gonna try to hack into his computer? We're here for information. And computers are basically information pinatas. <sighs> Didn't find anything. Huh. Tom invited Eddie over for dinner? Oh, yeah. Whoa. Brown looked at our file this morning. Huh. Tom invited Eddie. One of his emails mentioned the archives. That's gotta be where our file is. Please tell me you know what the code is. To the highly confidential police archive? Then how am I supposed to open the door? I spent hours playing next to this room. I'd see people go inside all the time. The keypad does this little tune. Dum da di do. <sighs> Seriously? Go on, try. Tam, tam. Čekaj, ajde, kaže ponovo. Kako to? How did that tune go again? Dum, da, di, do. Dum, da, di, do. What's this? Do? Dum. Okay, dum. How did that tune go again? Dum, da, di, do. Archive, but the folder. Uh, looks like they're finally going digital. Oh, that's right. I remember Eddie complaining about this. They're gonna have to resort everything. Great. They've digitized their closed files, but only the ones before 1990. Meaning? Meaning our file is still somewhere in those boxes. Perfect. A room of scattered case files and a half-done sorting system. Yep. This is gonna be so fun for you. I'm gonna go keep a lookout. What? Why do I have to be the one stuck with box duty? <laughs> because if anyone sees me, I'll have a better excuse for being there. Reach out and- Nope. <sighs> not this one either. No, that's not it. Nope. Well... Zero five R sixty eight six fifty three. Check out the mode Hima. Not this one either. No, that's not it. You finding anything? Let me pull out Brian. What was that reference number again? Zero five R sixty eight six fifty three. Nope. 
One either. Where's the damn box? Well, huh. what was that reference number again? Zero five R sixty eight six fifty three. What up? Shut seeing anything we didn't know already. It does reference some other files and audio recordings, though. You might be able to look those up on the computer. Even if our file hasn't been digitized yet, they may already have it in the appendix. Is zero five R sixty two seven sixty six. He's not a writer, Tyler. Добро. Что сад? 
Shit, shit, shit. Eddie's coming up the stairs. What do I do? What do I do? Stole him. No shit, Sherlock. Tell him you need to talk in his office. Yellow's Crossing Police Department. Check your ears, Hello? Hello? Uh, hello? I can hear you. It's my mom. She... she fell in the water and she's not coming up. Okay, where are you now? Home. We're home. Are you alone? Where's your dad? It's just me and my sister. All right, honey, can you give me your address? Oh, Cannery Road. Please, hurry. Just stay right where you are, okay? We're sending someone out to help you. Don't hang up! References 0501COMEBR. Okay, here it is. Jesus. Unbelievable. Brown reported Mary Ann to Child Services. What? Where are you? What's going on? Here. This is Officer Eddie Brown. Hello, Officer Brown. This is Simone Prue from the Office of Child Services. Hello, Mrs. Prue. I'm calling about the Ronan family. Uh, I just wanted to let you know that we will be moving forward with the case. Uh, I see. Is there anyone additional we should interview while we're in the area? Yeah, um, Samuel Kansky is a close friend of the family. Uh huh. K-A-N-S... K-Y. Great. Your caseworker, Sandy Black, will be arriving on March 5th. She'll drop by the station first thing in the morning. Mrs. Prue, how worried should we be? Mm, I really can't say until I have a full picture yeah, awesome. of the situation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course. Well, have a good afternoon, Mrs. Prue. I just listened to Brown chatting with OCS. He really did it. He reported her. What if he was just a go-between? He might not have had a choice. We need to keep digging. Brown and children. Eddie Brown. Marianne. Eddie Brown. Got something. to check out 2005 Here we go. Wait, what the hell? There's a huge room of child neglect. Tessa? Tessa's name came up. Search for her. Start to zero bit. No a bit. R Shazastos. References zero five R sixty eight MISC. No a bit. I'm sorry, Tyler. 
I couldn't stop him. He's coming your way. Get out. Uncle, I... We didn't mean I'm to... I'm not gonna repeat myself. You're a goddamn hypocrite. I said move it! H hey! That's Get off me! You'd rather spend the night here? Come on! I said don't fucking touch me! Go on! And consider yourselves lucky your family. Why the walk with wrong? You're right. Family. And for Allison's sake, we should talk. About what? We saw our file. We know about social services. Why? Why did you turn your back on her? Why did Tessa? Okay. Yeah, you're right. We need to talk. That's other video, Mom. The winter before your mother's death was hard. Delos Crossing was snowed in for months. Most roads were closed and plane supplies were scarce. Everyone was struggling. Especially Marianne. Yeah. She was always just scraping by. And that winter left nothing to scrape up. Even if locals had found time to help her. I don't know, I'm, I'm not sure your mother would have accepted. You're saying Tessa reported our mother because she was having supply issues? Tessa came to me because she was honestly concerned. <laughs> right. I was legally required to report Tessa's complaint, even if I didn't agree. So you took her word for it and called child services. Failure to provide adequate food, lack of appropriate supervision, inattention to a child's psychological care. Like it or not, she had a case. What? It's bullshit. Just following the law then. Right. Is that why you came over that day before she died? You felt shitty, didn't you? That's why you broke procedure? I had to warn her that it was happening and that it wasn't looking good. An assessment worker had been assigned and started doing background checks. What else was I supposed to do? I thought always telling each other the truth was our number one rule. Still is, little moose. And yet you still lied. I didn't want you two putting yourselves through unnecessary hurt. But you're adults and that was your choice to make. I'm truly sorry. Thank you, Uncle. Ishta said, that's bullshit, Alison. Ilio, just like that, huh? I know. Just like that, huh? Must be nice to have a daughter who lets you off the hook that easy. Eddie, you keep trying to point your finger at Tessa, but you have to take responsibility for your part in our mother's death. I've asked myself over and over for the past 10 years what I could have done different. I know I made a big mistake with you two here. And you've got every right to be angry. Being a father, well, it's a pretty tough job. I've tried my best, 
and I'd like to try my best with you too, Tyler, if you want it. Sad, but we could get there with time. No, it's not that easy. If I know we could get there in time. I'm open to getting there, but it's gonna take some time before we're a big, happy family. I respect that. It's hard work rebuilding trust. But you've got a place here whenever you need it. Group hug? Uh, no. Absolutely not. He's the sad. Vratno se vratimo kod Tese da sa njom malo pročešljamo isto. You two on your way out? Yeah, we've got stuff to do. You ready, Allison? Yep. Let's roll on. Well, don't be a stranger, Tyler. Sure. See you around. See you later. Dobro. Idemo, to je to. See you around, Allison. Oh, yeah. See ya. You kids be careful out there, yeah? You kids be careful out there, yeah? Allison. What? You feel like shit. How can you tell? Because I feel like shit. What are we gonna do about Tessa? Nothing. Look, we're not gonna do anything. That's enough, Tyler. Talk to Tessa? Why? What are you looking for? What are you expecting her to say? I thought she loved us. Really? Chief Brown, is it true? Is she... Oh my god. Ch children, I... Tessa. Tessa, you need to leave. Come on, kids. Everything is going to be alright, okay? You're going to be okay, I promise. Go home. You can't be here right now. Is everybody? Tessa's got to be around somewhere. I think I'm hearing something. 
Well, at least we know the entire world didn't vanish. But given who is here, we can't count out the rapture quite yet. I need to take a breather. I'm gonna do a bit of shopping. You look for Tessa, okay? On it. Hey, I think that's it. We'll finish with this episode. In today's episode, I hope you enjoyed it. If you like it, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel so you don't forget the next episode. And we'll see you in the next video. Hello!